Good evening, students, or morning, depending on what time of day you're watching this. Um, this is going to be uh, recorded into your C notes for class on October 1st. So this date we have is actually incorrect. Um, some of the classes did start it yesterday, but for your C note purposes, let's do October 1st, 2013. So our learning target will be, I will use multiplication of whole numbers to solve problems including situations involving patterns or sets of powers. Our essential question, what algorithm can you use to multiply any two decimal numbers? So we're going to be looking at creating an algorithm to multiply decimals so that maybe we don't have to multiply decimals using fractions anymore. I mean what we've been doing in class is to multiply something like three tenths times one and five tenths, we would convert three tenths as a decimal to three tenths as a fraction, and one and five tenths to fifteen tenths as a fraction, and then multiply three times fifteen is forty five, and ten times ten is a hundred, and we know that forty five hundredths can be written as a decimal. 45 hundredths. So relatively simple, um, but there is an algorithm that we can use to where we don't even have to go to the fractions. So what we're going to do for our homework tonight is we are going to examine three sets of factors and how their products relate to the factors and to each other. For homework tonight, all we're going to ask you to do is do the first three of each set. Okay, so if we look at set A, set A right here, we're just multiplying whole numbers. So I'm going to let you do that on your own. 21 times 100, 21 times 10, and 21 times 1. Because that's easy, there's no decimal issues there, or anything like that. So it's just multiplying whole numbers, and in fact relatively easy whole numbers because we're multiplying times 100, 10, and 1. Now, when we move over to set B and set C, this is where we're going to have to uh, look at the decimals now. So, let's do the first one of both set B and set C together, and then you'll do the rest as your homework. So, 2 and 1 tenth times 100. If we take and make that into our fraction multiplication, that's 21 tenths times 100. And one's place value, 21 times 100 is 2,100, 10 times 1 is 10. Then 21, or two, I'm sorry, 2,100 tenths is equivalent to 210. Now let's look at set C. 21 hundredths times 100 over 1. 21 times 100, 2,100, 100 times 1, 100. And if we simplify by 100 on both the numerator and the denominator, you'll find out that your answer is 21. Now, to complete your homework, we need you to find the solutions for the rest of these in set B and C, as well as the ones in set A. And then when we come to class, we'll start looking at the rest of them and see what kind of pattern we see. So come to class tomorrow prepared with the first three in each set so that we can jump right into the discussion for the remaining three and find a pattern or a relationship between the factors and the products. Thank you. Bye.